<coughs> levels of protection based upon the likely impacts of proposed activities to the ecosystems within the MPA. Considerations, variation, and the type of activities that may be permitted within the three types of marine protected areas identified by the MLPA. State Marine Conservation Area, State Marine Park, and State Marine Reserve. Both direct impacts, those resulting directly from gear use or removal of target or non-target species, and indirect impacts, ecosystem level effects of species removal. How much will an ecosystem differ from an unfished ecosystem if one or more proposed activities is allowed? MPAs that allow extractive activities receive levels of protection ranging from high for low impact activities, meaning taking yellowtail because they don't live there full time, to low <coughs> levels of protection for activities that alter habitat and thus are likely to have a large impact on the ecosystem, taking scallops, animals that burrow in and are actually part of the reef system. That's the most damaging thing you can do. Example, state marine reserves, reserves SMRs are by definition unfished ecosystems, therefore they receive the highest protection level very high. Right in here is one of my major points of contention. Uh, you cannot take a calico bass out. They say you will wreak, wreak some level of havoc upon the system. They're not going to tell you you can't anchor in there and drag your anchor through the kelp. No lie. And it's far more destructive, but that's the science that they're using. So, next slide. Conceptual model for determining level of protection. Let's use two things. Let's use a calico. Well, let's use a, let's use a scallop and a yellowtail. Yellowtail. Does proposed activity alter habitat directly? Taking yellowtail. The answer, does it do physical habitat damage? Answer is no. Is abundance of any species, target or non-target, likely to be significantly different in the MPA relative to an SMR? I.e., any removed species likely to benefit? No, yellowtail come and go, so it's no again. If removal of species likely to impact community structure directly or indirectly, yellowtail come and go. They have no lasting effect. The answer is if no, you get a high level of protection for taking yellowtail. Scallop, on the other hand, does activity alter habitat directly? Yes, you break the reef. If yes, is habitat alteration likely to change community structure substantially? You can see the hole on the reef where the scallop was. Bingo, yes, low level of protection, very simple. Every other fish falls down the pachinko ball to some level. Calico bass fishing, just to be general, and rockfish sheephead falls in the moderate low range. Okay, next slide. 